France's frivolousness regarding Ukraine is unending. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. From the start of the Ukraine war, French President Emmanuel Macron has fluttered about like a busy buffoon with his dubious diplomacy. Countless calls to Putin, endless consultations with other government leaders, and an ongoing parade of pious pronounces have achieved nothing. Putin treats him as would Lenin. That is, in Lenin's words, quote, a useful idiot, end of quote. Macron is now publicly calling for Ukrainians to negotiate a deal with Putin that would award the Moscow monster a big part of their country. In other words, hand Putin a powerful geographic base from which to launch future offensives against the rump of what's left of Ukraine after the Kremlin rebuilds its mauled military. In power politics, of course, France is not what it was when more than two centuries ago Napoleonic armies menacingly marched across Europe. But Paris would have far more sway if it took a vigorous, serious lead in recognizing the threat Putin poses to Europe's security and indeed to that of the free world. That would include pouring far more offensive weapons, including fighter aircraft, into Ukraine and publicly urging the still hesitant Biden administration to do the same, prodding the Germans to deliver to Kyiv the weaponry it has already promised, and then sending in more and lead the way to provide naval escorts to have neutral shipping pick up desperately needed grain from Ukrainian ports on the Black Sea. France is in a unique position. Unlike Germany, it relies heavily on its own nuclear power for energy rather than Russian gas. In this world of weak, vacillating, and incompetent leaders, Macron could become a global colossus by taking a firm stand. He could start by doing for Biden what Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher allegedly did to President George H.W. Bush in 1990 when Iran seized neighboring Kuwait. She admonished Bush, don't go wobbly, George. Instead, Macron is appealing to the worst instincts of Biden and his team. Indeed, he is aping the appeasement policies of Paris and London in the 1930s towards Hitler, give the Nazis territory, and they won't wage war for more. Putin wants Ukraine and then more. Macron's latest declarations only confirmed to Russia, China, Iran, and North Korea that the West has no stomach for sustained resistance to their ugly ambitions. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again.